using two micro bits and a radio code to make a scoreboard. So if you've ever been to a basketball game or a football game, there's a big scoreboard up on the wall or out, out at the edge of the field. That's what this micro bit is, the big scoreboard. And I'm the person keeping track of the score. I'm the scorekeeper. I'm going to use this micro bit. I'm going to push button A if team A gets a point or if team A scores. I'm going to push button B if team B scores. I myself now don't have to keep track of the score. I can just keep pushing A if A gets a point or B if team B gets a point. And I'm not even concerned with who's winning. I'm just keeping track of who gets the point, team A or team B. So to get it to the scoreboard, I'm going to have to push A plus B together and then it will show up on my scoreboard. So I push A plus B at the same time. A has five points. B has eight. Looks like the B team won today. So today, let's go make this code for a radio controlled scoreboard. When team A gets a point, the scorekeeper will press A. When team B gets a point, the scorekeeper will press B. To see the score on the scoreboard, which is the second micro bit, the scorekeeper will press A plus B together. So when we use a radio code, what do we always start with? That's right. On start, we need a radio set group. And it doesn't matter what the number is. This time, I'm just going to pick a random number. It's like picking the channel on a walkie-talkie. We also need to make two variables. One we're going to call score A. That's for the A team. And we're going to make another variable called score B. And that's for the B team. We also need to put a set score A to zero on start because they don't have any points at the start of the game and neither does team B. So we're going to set score B to zero at the start. All right, so let's tell the micro bits what to do if the A team gets a point. If the A team gets a point, we're going to press button A and we're going to radio send the number one. This time the number is important. Let's keep track. So A is going to send one. When the B team gets a point, we're going to press button B and we're going to send the number two. So radio send number two. A is one, B is two. And when we want to see what the score is, we're going to push A plus B at the same time and send the number three. Okay, um, something else I'm gonna do is on the scorekeeper's micro bit. I want it to know for sure that the number is being sent. So I'm going to say show string letter A if I push button A and that's just going to help me know that I did push the button and then after I push A I want the screen to clear. And the same thing for button B. When I push button B I want to see on my micro bit as the scorekeeper the letter B and then I can have it clear off. Let me just go into more clear screen. Okay, now we need to tell the receiving micro bit what to do for each button pressed. So go to the radio drawer, pull out the on radio received, received number. Okay, inside this block, we're gonna need to add an if then else button from logic. Okay, and we're gonna tell it that if it gets the number one, so we need to pull out a zero equals zero, if, the received number, I'm going to take this and drag it right here. If the received number is 1, we need to change team A score by 1. So we're going to change, mine defaulted to score B, so let's change it to score A. So if I push A, it sends the number 1. The second micro bit gets the number 1 and changes score A by 1. Okay, now we need to tell it what to do if I push B. So let me hit this plus here. Go back into logic, get out zero equals zero, put it right there, pull down the received number. And this time we're gonna say if the received number is a two because I push button B, we're going to change score B. Oops, that's set. We're gonna change score B by one. Okay. Now what happens if the scorekeeper pushes A plus B at the same time? Well, if that happens, we want to see what the score is. So we already have one and two. So if the number it gets is anything else, it can only be a three, we'll just put that in the else part. 
So if A and B is pressed and it's a three, it's automatically the else. So we want it to show the A, letter A, and then A team score. So we need show number, and then we want it to show the number that is score A. Okay, we also need to see B team score. So we need to show string, the letter B, and then the B team score. So show number, and then from variables, show the B team score. Okay, that should do it. Let's take a look on the emulator about what this would look like. Let me push button A to pull up the second micro bit. Okay, so A team gets a point. I see the letter A, but nothing over here. That's okay. B team, B team is on a roll. They get a whole bunch of points in a row. And then the A team gets a couple points. All right, the game's over. Let's see what the score is. I push A plus B. The A team has three points. The B team has four points. So that is how it works. Take a look at the code again. See if I can get it all to fit on one page here. There it is. I'm going to call the scoreboard. Then I'm going to share it, publish it. I need to copy this link, and then I will paste it as a submission into Canvas. All right, have fun with this code. Thank you.